What's going on guys? This is KNASTY3090 here. Welcome back to another episode of Oakland A's Moneyball Franchise. This is episode number 6 of the franchise. And if you guys are kind of new to this franchise, basically what we are doing as a challenge, and that's why I'm calling it Moneyball, we cannot spend more than $25 million a year. This past year we spent, what was it, $23 million. Unfortunately, we missed the playoffs, 79-83, 7 out of the wild cards. We got some changes to make. We're going into the offseason. <clears throat> so the year before we did make the playoffs, we lost in the World Series. So uh, let's see who retired. Batista retired. That's actually kind of, he was a cheap, and he did all right. Not as good as he did two years ago, but last year, 22 home runs, and he was making like 500000 So let's see. Albert Pujols retired, Hall of Famer. All right, exclusive free agents. Henderson Alvarez, an okay year, a 404 ERA, a 124 whip. Record was terrible, but I mean, he didn't pitch that awful. How much does he want? $5 million a year? It's a fifth of our payroll. <laughs> Good luck. We'll do coaches later. <laughs> Good luck out there, Henderson. All right, let's take a look at arbitration. Edwin Diaz, our closer. He had a 3.49 ERA. Pretty darn good. 3.6 is a little pricey. Um, <clears throat> I mean, we should definitely sign him if we can't keep him. We can trade them. If you guys miss other episodes, basically, we can go over our allocated $25 million budget in the offseason. By the time the games start, they have to be there. Santana had a great year last year, 293, 28 home runs. Also stole 18 bags. But his war is only 1.8 because his fielding's pretty subpar, but he could be a DH on the new team now that Batista's retired. 2.9, we can definitely do that. Two years, 2.9 million. Perfect. That's... That's like, uh, it's going to be closer. There we go. 3.2. That's still pretty cheap. Ross Stripling had a very good year. 2.62 ERA for us. How much is he going to cost? Oh, 750000 for three years? Well, it's going to be closer to like, even still, 900000 for three years? Perfect. Christian Valenueva was our third baseman. He had 24 home runs. He's going to price himself out, so we will just sign him to trade him. I think, eh, maybe we can keep him at 3.5, but I think that's going to be too pricey. Ramos out of the bullpen did kind of struggle, and 2 million will be a little too pricey. We will just sign him to then move him. Paul Seawold, uh, 3.57 area is pretty good. 1.9 is also a little pricey. I think we can do cheaper in the bullpen than that. Like I said, we will sign him to then trade him. Ben Gamble. He hit 270, 17 home runs. 2.8 for three years. Uh, that's a little on the high end, too. Hopefully, we can. It's actually going to be a little bit more than that. He doesn't like that he's not close to home. Richard Blyer was a reliever for us. Great. A 207 ERA. Hopefully, he's cheap. 1.8 for three years. Mm. I think we can. it's going to be right around 2 million. Jose Prado was at second base at 270, 15 home runs. I didn't really steal any bags like he did the prior year. His wins above replacement was 3.3 and a 1.7 million for three years. Which is going to be more like 1.8. And then Bruce Maxwell was our catcher. Actually did hit double digit home runs. Nothing too crazy. We can definitely, if he's wanting a lot of money, which he is, he is a guy we will move. So let's just sign him to a deal to then trade him as well. Let's take a look at tender contracts now. Albert O'Moore, we got at the uh, trade deadline. I'm hoping we can get him cheap. 1.3 million. He does have the contract renewable, which if you guys don't know, at the very end of the office, we can renew the contract. I think it's for like 80% of the prior year or like 120%, something like that. So I'll probably just do that with our, uh, Albert Amor instead of giving him a one year, 1.3. We should be able to go cheaper than that. Tyler Beatty, he really struggled. Again, we'll probably do the same thing for him. We could do three years, 1.2, but I think the other way is better. Lazardo, let's just sign him. And I'll go through, I think I'll just go through all these. I'll just sign them, and then we'll move on with the offseason. All right, guys, so I went to all those contracts. Now, actually, a couple small things. I couldn't do this with Almora, where if I went to like three years and brought the interest down, like the money down, his interest would go down. But I could do that with Tyler Beatty, so I got him a three year, as you see on the bottom right there, three years, 260 million for total for three years. With Pelletier, a three years, 210000 for the, so that's 70000 per year. And we did that with someone else, too, if I remember right. Yep, Joe Duggan, our, the other young right fielder we have. 
um, three years, 150000 so 50000 a year. So that's really good if those guys should accept it. The um, interest bar was all the way up. So let's sim a few days, see what happens, and then we'll try to figure out what to do with the team moving forward. Well, actually, these guys haven't signed their contracts yet. Rizzo's a national. Don't want people joining the AL West. Doolittle's a Met. Chase DeYoung. All right. No. Let's take a look to see if these players... Okay, so we're still waiting on Striplin and Ben Gamble. Contracts. These guys, I'm just waiting for the contracts to be renewable at the very end of the offseason. So what is our budget looking like now? 31 minutes. We have to cut basically six, seven million. I think Maxwell's definitely a guy we can move. Probably Villanueva as well. So let's go and find some people to go get. Let's try to get a young, cheap catcher. I mean, he could be older. Cheap is the big thing, but probably will be younger. That guy, he's a D potential, but he can hit, and his feeling's not awful. He's 64,000. Worst case, that's a good backup catcher. We do have Sean Murphy, but he's not ready yet. I'll just do that deal straight up. We get Bill Norris will be our backup catcher at worst. Let's see what else is out there. He was $64,000, which is good. Oh, Alfaro. Final year of his deal. Not really a great hitter, but a really good fielder. His war last year was negative 0.9. That's not ideal. Victor Caratini, 1.3 million. Mm. Actually, catchers, there's not a ton of options out there. Mejia, oh, I'd be awesome if we get him, but I don't. He hit 21 bombs last year. I mean, we do have the farm system if we wanted to. If we include Maxwell, that helps. Villanueva, all right. And I want to keep Santana, but I bet you not to even get the deal. Ooh, that might be tough. Pac, maybe? Okay, we include Pac. That does get the deal done. And BD signed that really cheap contract. Lazardo has 49 walks per nine. Puck has 52. Neither of those are great. Puck's also 24, and Lazardo's only 22. We do this, we get Mejia. Final year of his deal. One year of service time. I like him as a catcher. And that saves us how much money? About $6 million. And we do need a third baseman now. What's our budget right now? Tw exactly $25 million. And we can still like move on from Ramos and Seawald. That can clear up a little bit of money, too. So let's go a few more days. See if these players signed. Okay, so we're just waiting on Gamble now. Which I will trade because I got some youngsters. I do want to use our outfielders to be Santana, who might be our DH. Pelletier, who can definitely play the outfield. Probably more of a left fielder. And Duggan's probably more of a right fielder. Bad feeling, but a good arm. So actually, let's move Pelletier to left. There we go. So our outfield will be Santana, Duggan, Almora, Pelletier, and like I said, Santana will be DH. Shortstop's Brendan Rodgers. We need a third baseman. Second base is Perala. First base is Matt Olson. And we do have this Estrada guy working his way up through the system who's closing in on a DH position maybe in a year or two. And we can keep Diaz for that $4 million. He should be our lights out reliever. Our bullpen looks pretty good. Sam is only making 600000 Our rotation of Manea, Strippin, Triggs, Blackburn, Beatty. Maybe try to get another guy in here. So um, let's get rid of some dead weight money. Ramos. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do a little player search if we can find a good starter with some great walks per nine, as that is a very important stat. Attribute number one, walks per nine. Min, let's start off with 75. And maximum salary, $2 million. Chris Sale? Oh, he's a free agent. Okay, min salary. There we go. Manea, Luke, ooh, Luke Weaver has 75 walks per nine, making 1.1 million. Jake Junis had a 309 ERA. 
he's only making eight hundred thousand. Or Joe Ross. I love one of these guys to be like locked up in a contract. We have Triggs, but as you can see, we kind of got at several of these guys. Oh my goodness, I need this dude. He's 31, 89 walks per nine. Christian Bergman. He can be our long man. So let's get Bergman. How much is he costing? 500000 It's a little pricey for a long man, but I think he'll be really good. Guzman, this guy. 75 walks per nine. That's a good young player. So let's get uh, Bergman for a long man and maybe get like Junis or Joe Ross. Probably Joe Ross. Uh, Junis, excuse me. He had a better year. Or Luke Weaver. We'll come back to that. But let's get Bergman. He can be... He should be easy to get. And he'll be our long man. Um, they want a shortstop and a left fielder. We actually have shortstops. Herrera. I want him to be on the team for as our super utility. Arias. Easily gets the deal done. We don't need to include him. There we go. Blanco gets the deal done. Now we do take on a little bit of money. So that's fine. Now, um, let's go check out Jake Junis. So here he is. Two years of service time. 800000 We put in Ramos. Seawold. And... Let's see what else... Sean Rodriguez, we can trade Sean Rodriguez. Ah, oh, well, we will want to include him. That's 500000 It's kind of expensive for what he is. I don't want to give up any big-time prospects, but we have some starters we can move. Um... Don't want to give up... Jeez, I don't want to give up some big time, big time players. Wingengerter or Wing Wingenter Wingenter doesn't even get the deal done. Damn it! I'll give up Arias for him. That should be a stud in the rotation. So our rotation is Manaya, Junis, Striplin, Triggs, Blackburn. Beatty can be in the uh, minors to start the year. Same with Lizardo. Bergman will be our long man. Bullpen, I do want to get a couple players. Uh, Pagan will be there, but let's go find some cheap relievers. Hopefully on... Ooh, James Hoyt. 371 ERA, not great, but he should be pretty easy for us to get. They want a catcher. All right, Murphy easily gets the deal done. I think we, can, we don't need to include him. How about Peter Alonzo? There we go. There's a little bolt. What is our budget right now, by the way? $23 million, and we still are waiting for Gamble to accept his contract. So let's go a few more days. Chris Sale's a Blue Jay. Wow. And we're still waiting for like all more like these contracts we got to do. And we have to do coaches, so let's take care of that. We need a first base and a farm director. Actually, he's 66. He's going to retire soon. All right. And it was first base as well. Forty minutes all set. All right. Gamble accepted. So we're going to move on from Gamble. And only one million over the budget too. So that's going to give us three million that's gonna put us at like 23 and we can still do more so i think we can get a big time reliever from trading ben gamble like i want to get a mid to upper 80s Ooh, Derek law is cheap he has a lot of value but see if we can not trade put sean rodriguez in a, any deal I include Murphy for him. Funny year of his deal. He has good per nines. He's only making six hundred thousand. Actually, we only lose fifty thousand dollars from this trade. Now we need to get another stud out of the bullpen. I and mean, we can spend a little bit of money. Bedosian, we had no, we didn't have him. Think of someone else. Davinsky, I think, was the guy we had. Yelp. Making five million. Deekman? 
Yeah, he struggled last year. Ooh, Brevia is making nothing. And he has another year after this, too. Oh, I'll do that trade. Can I also get... Uh, he struggled. Guerrero pitched all right. I think... Uh, he hasn't signed his contract yet. I think this is fine. I think I kind of like our team now. We are at 24 million, so we're just underneath it. Not a ton of room to grow. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how long we can keep this team, some of these players together. But next year, we should be pretty good. And our biggest contract is Diaz, but he needs to be dominant. But I think he will be a Santana. He's going to be good for us. So, yeah, I guess we can uh, finish. Well, we uh, actually, I think when we sign, I'm not, we don't have to sign all these guys. Need to sign out Mora. Maybe Dave Russell. It's just like another. He pitched all right as a as, a, as our long man, I believe, last year. So, um, Nolan Arenado's a Marlin. Wow. Okay. Didi's a Reds. Okay. And this is Garrett Cole's a Royal. It's like who would you not expect these guys to play with? That's what's happening. Marte's a Cardinal. Rule five draft. We're gonna have the 14th pick in next year's draft. Is there anyone here? Not really. Ooh, Tsunami. Su Wei Lin. How much is he making? 600000 We already have a backup uh, middle infielder. So, all right. Bogarts is a Diamondback. It makes sense because DD went to the Red Sox. He used to be the Diamondback shortstop, so Diamondbacks got the Red Sox former shortstop. All right, coaches are all set. Now we need to do the renewed contracts. Um, where are they? The heck? That's weird. Where did they go? Did someone else sign them? <sighs> I do have to trade for them. Why did that happen? We didn't... You can renew contracts. I've done this in the past. Where the F... I don't know why they were... All... <laughs> Whatever, we'll trade for them. That's really stupid. That's really freaking stupid. I can move on from him. Mm. I mean, we do give up Luzardo, which I don't want to, but I mean, we need Almora. It's stupid that that happened. That makes no sense why that happened. He wasn't a free agent. Why was the team able to sign him? Now, what is our budget looking like? Twenty-five million. We're at. We're at our budget of twenty-five million. That's stupid. That happened. The other guys already don't care losing. So let's go to spring training. Let's get this um, roster all set, and then we will end the video. I guess now I know. Just don't bother with that anymore. It doesn't work. I guess maybe they patched it or something. I don't know. Maneja Junis, Stripling, Triggs, B, uh, Blackburn. I'm going to put Beattie in the minors. Where is Bregman? Or Bergman, excuse me. Actually, we may have to sign some minor leaguers. I think we are going to have to sign some minor leaguers to some very cheap contracts. Let's take care of that right now. Hopefully we don't go over our budget of 25 million. Still at 25 and I think, yep, yeah, we're good. Uh, let's go to the major league roster. These guys need to go to AAA. Same with him. Same with him. Oop, not release. Same with you. Same with you. Lozano. I'll, yeah, I like this guy. He can hit. I think we just drafted him, too. So we need to add three more people to the big league club. Let's take a look at AAA team. Bill Norris had one on the team. I 
All right, let's take a look at the rotation. I mean, the bullpen in the rotation. <clears throat> Looks really good, actually. Only one lefty, so maybe that's something we'll do at the trade deadline if we need it. But I like it. Lineup now. So, we need a backup first baseman. Even though I think Herrera, no, he can't play. And I think Lozano. Oh, we never got a third baseman, did he? Did we? Shoot. Yeah, we never did. I guess we can use Lozano at third, though. He can play there. <clears throat> the only problem is his durability, so let's go get a third baseman. Rochelle, that's not terrible. He's only 500,000. Probably gonna have to be under a million to get the money to work. That's actually not terrible. 69 overall, $50,000. Munoz can really field, can't really hit. I'll go after him. We're gonna have to find someone to get the money to offset though. Is anyone making a lot of money? Not really. Maybe we move on from... I want Blear because he did really well. Maybe we just trade like um, three guys in this deal. No, I don't think we can do it. Um, let's keep looking. We have to get someone who's making like... I, you know, I'll probably get... What's his face? Ursh was it Urshela? No. Where was he? Ooh, Max Muncy. Uh, Let's, I guess, keep checking. Urseg? <coughs> uh, not really. Nick Sens is only making 37000 uh, I don't know if we can get him. I'd give a BD for him. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Nick Sens has got... A, he's making 37000 He has another year after this. That's why I really want him. There. That is a nice third baseman. We need to add one more person. We need a, like a backup first baseman. Let's take a look at free agency. 2.3 million, nope. 2 million, nope. 500, what is our budget at? 25 million, so that might be too much, 500,000. Edwin Encarnacion. 500,000, let's see if we can do it. Ah, 26 million. Damn it. <laughs> um, God, this con, this makes it hard. <laughs> we must be so close. There we go, 25 million. We were just over. Okay, we're at our budget. Now, let's get this line up. It's actually a pretty good line up. Who's our DH Herrera now? So our DH is going to be Santana. Duggan can play right. Peltier can play left. And he's going to be a really damn good player. Senzel batting second? Don't hate it. Um, um, Let's do... Actually, let's do this. Yeah, I like that. A more leading off, I think, is best for the team. And then Senzel. Looks good. All right, and let's do this. Like Senzel there. We want him down the lineup. We want Peltier, Almora, Matt Olson, Santana. And we want Santana to be DH. And lastly, all right. Our pitching's already all set. Top prospects, what do we have? <coughs> Probably not much. We kind of did trade a few. Duggan, but he's starting the year in the bigs. He's at 18. What's Peltier at? I'm higher on him, actually. Maybe he exhausted service time. 
What was the guy that we traded because we screwed up the Almora thing? Lizardo, he's at uh, 25. So, um, we don't have a great farm system, but when we move on from certain players, like this might be the last year of Manea, I think, right? No, he has one more year, so maybe we move on from Almora or Mejia in the offseason or Matt Olsen. We can get a good amount for them. We do have 15 million tied up into next year's payroll. So, um, what are we ranked at? 18th. So, not too bad for 25 million. Next episode, we'll see how we do in the uh, regular season. I'll see you guys then. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please drop a like if you did. I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy. Peace.